don't really have anything to say. It's might be the easiest X lab to do. Even if you stumble your way through it. Like I just did. Now we just go back to Vernon, back to Vernon. And then I think he has us turn off the next lab. No. And the outskirts. Chernobyl because they're mislabeled. I think in the first build of this game it was actually called the outskirts. And they mislabeled it in one of their builds and they've never gone back and corrected it. Lost Alpha is supposed to still have two maps in development. And I doubt I'll play the game. I doubt I'll play this game again just to get those two maps. After playing all the way through the game five times, I'm, I'm pretty done with it. Ready to move on. Just a lot of running here. I might just cut it all out. I don't know why I would leave this in there, it's kind of boring to be honest. Alright, here we are, back in this place. Wouldn't 
gonna be doing a couple of things. Going to be um Oh, if it's still here, we're gonna be picking up a new suit. I should have bought it last time we were here and just stocked it. Wanted to see how good the combat armor was going to be. How much higher I can get the impact. Take it. Not what I want, but I'll take it. There's supposed to be others that spawn out over here. Less likely over there. You didn't pick anything up, did you? No, oh, alright. We can sell the meat chunk. I mean, we can sell anything because Go we have, up here. Let's have a look. infinite Shit. money, but. Alright, he still has it. Docker one weighs a little bit more, but is also a little bit better. A10M. I think in developer's cut they removed this suit that like breaks from rain. It was even more expensive. Oh wow, I don't have the money for that. Uh, let me talk to Vern first. What's up? Alright. Goodbye. Drop a few things off here. We didn't need to drop that off, actually. I'm gonna carry that. Alright, and then we're going to make a hard save, and then we're going to trade a bunch of money, buy that suit, and look at what we can do to it. Alright, now that we're completely weaponless. Well, no, we got a knife. That's all we need. Better not be the suit that degradates like nobody's business. I think that one was really cheap, actually. And I think it got removed with the developer's cut.
This guy's base stats are higher than the barrels, so... And the healing stats aren't really that much. They don't really make up for it. First thing, reduce weight. I like that. Impact. Lead. Energy. Chemical or additional weight? Additional weight. Oh, that ate for my money real fast. Bulletproofing or suit durability? Mmm, good question. Suit durability. I brought a hundred thousand. They just ate a hundred thousand. Alright. Um, I'll have to go get more money. More compression. That took me by surprise. Now it only weighs a little bit more. Alright, fully upgraded. 55 impact. Not bad. 50 rapture, not bad. Rad protection, expectedly low. Side protection, surprisingly high. Moderate. Explosive protection, good. Bullet capping, pretty good. It's actually really good. Um. And electric protection is actually pretty good. I managed to get out of the minus. Negatives, I mean. Be good, I'd say. Would be worth it? Yeah, I mean, that's better than the barrel. I won't get the healing benefits, but the healing benefits are so little that it doesn't really matter unless. It's not enough to help you in a firefight. If you're, like, wounded and you're walking a long distance while wounded, then yeah, you can just let your health regenerate while you're walking, rather than having to use a medkit for it.
that's alright by me. But this suit offers a plus for the heal, and it offers a lot of bleed protection too. I can go get my gear back. And we can... X7, right? Yeah, X7. Alright. Come up here. Let's have a little chat. Get my some of my back. The only downside to carrying this gun, although it weighs less than most guns, is its ammo weighs a lot. And that's what's getting me here recently. That's what started getting me was the ammo weighs a lot. Might want a new gun. That'd be overkill right there, the FT-2000. Or the FN-2000. Don't really think I want to do assault rifle. I'm just thinking about the ammo. The ammo weighs a lot. In comparison to the others. I mean, 70 in comparison to 33, and then that adds on to the weapon's weight. Might as well be carrying this thing. In the end. Oh, we might be doing some more weapon testing here. Does this go with 150 rounds? What are we looking at? We're looking at... 46.2 But he is loaded It's still 47.4, so it's one kilogram heavier. Alright. He's going there. Wanna take this weapon or wanna upgrade it? This whole episode is gonna be upgrading stuff. Apparently the gun had ammo in it, okay, so it, it weighs less even with the ammo in it, still. I didn't realize it had ammo in it. I like the way this gun looks, apart from that scope. The scope's kind of dumb, but... I wish you could transition between two scopes. I mean, after all, it's even in the gun's description that its benefit is that it comes with two scopes. One scope's supposed to have a higher magnification than the other. But I think that's kind of dumb. I mean, how do you accurately transition from the two scopes? Isn't there a bullet drop in between the two? You would think that there would be a, um, it would make the gun less accurate, actually. Not to mention in real life, I like the way it looks without the twin scope on it. Bug eyed scope, as I call it. Also. Yeah, the GP37. Wasn't this a G36 or something like that in real life? I don't remember what they call it. I like it, it's one of my favorite guns. Next to Scorpion. Scorpion's a nice looking gun too. Alright, upgrades. No weight reduction. No weight reduction, but it still weighs less, even with the same amount of rounds, than the other gun. And it gets only one durability upgrade. But the side upgrades. Side upgrades make it shine a little bit more. Hold off on that for just a bit. We want these side upgrades. 
Is there a adjustable sight? Yes, there is. Okay. You just don't get a second generation. Want the adjustable sight? Use the recoil because we're going to be out of money again. Woo. You know what that means. It's not a bad adjustment. I think it's funny that all it's actually doing is adjusting your FOV, but anyways. All it's doing. He also apparently took my ammo. There it is. I really wish we could just ditch the top scope and make the gun look better, but... I think to put the scope in there that way, it didn't... They didn't have to deal with certain copyright things, but anyways. That's not bad. That handling, though, makes it go around a little bit. We might have to adjust that. Anyways, more fast forwarding as I upgrade this weapon to full. I guess that's okay. I thought it would let me turn off the night vision. Won't. Well, I'm a little bit upset over that, but I won't. I don't necessarily like 
Uh, I mean, it doesn't actually make it any easier to see. If anything, it actually makes it harder to see. Or I'll live with it. And we'll, um... Go on to X... Whatever X we're on now. That was a test. Probably should have grabbed one of my, uh, my urchin, but oh well. Off we go. <laughs> 